what eventually disappeared without anyone noticing. Reddit live. I don't know, I didn't notice. Reminds me of a hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy quote. You know, said Arthur, it's at times like this, when I'm trapped in a Vulcan airlock with a man from Beetlejuice, and about to die of asphyxiation in deep space that I really wish I'd listened to what my mother told me when I was young. Why, what did she tell you? I don't know, I didn't listen. Kinda surprised I haven't seen this one yet, but Ronald McDonald. You remember the old clown everywhere in and around McDonald's commercials and stores? Gone. Phased out when that clown scare prank trend was going around. Men of Reddit. What are some green flags on a first date? She showed up. We accidentally showed up at the wrong restaurant. Well, I showed up at one on the north end of town, she was at the one on the south end. She ended up coming to meet me halfway and after dinner we talked at a park at a lake until 2 in the morning and it felt like no time had passed. She wasn't on her phone at all. I told her I don't kiss on the first date just to make sure it's not about a hookup. At the end of the night, as I was dropping her off at her car, she gave me a nervous smile and then kissed me. Then she gave me a hug and even texted me to see if I got home, as she ended up making it to her place before I got to mine. Anyway, we've been married for eight years now. When she brings the 1977 to 2011 flag of Libya to the first date. Big green flag. She listens sincerely and talks sincerely. What's the most common bad habit everybody does? Thinking that everything minor thing you do will have dire social consequences. When in reality, most misunderstandings will be forgotten in five minutes. Trash talking others. Procrastination. Damn it. I was super proud not to be concerned by the top three comments, but if procrastination was a crime, I would be on death row. Too much time on the internet. The mostly gone generation before the boomers tried to warn us. Now even our parents and grandparents are glued to their phones. Not sleeping enough. Mindless snacking. Even if you fight off the urge for a while, you're still thinking about it. Waiting to talk instead of listening. This, I was awful about this as a kid until my mom phrased it to me as, you're so worried about getting your message out that you aren't taking anything in. Really opened my eyes. What comes to mind when you hear someone describe themselves as non-binary? Can they select all of the pictures that contain a bike? Ah oh man, here we go. I honestly don't care, but if this is the defining trait of your personality, I'm going to quickly lose interest in our conversation. Oh shit. I'm going to fuck this up for sure. They are not a computer. Not much. I guess maybe I think okay and then get on with my life. Honestly I don't get at all. I don't even understand gender identity in the first place. I've never thought of my gender really. I just do what I like without really caring if it fit my gender or not. But I don't really care enough to bother people over it as well. I'll respect you and refer to you the way you prefer. I don't know I just got here. I've got enough going on, you do you. What are some small things you can do to improve mental health? Get outside and take a walk, preferably surrounded by trees. Exercise is perhaps the best antidepressant I've found, even a short walk will make a difference. Every so often you will experience a moment where you are experiencing no pain, no hunger, and feel safe and warm. When these moments come around, close your eyes, breathe and savor it. If you let yourself savor these little moments of joy, you will soon realize they are far more common than you thought. And remember, you are allowed to be happy. And I urge you to please notice when you are happy, and exclaim or murmur or think at some point, if this isn't nice, I don't know what is. Dot. Dot. Kurt Vonnegut. Great advice from both you and Kurt. Edit. Thanks for the award. If that isn't nice, I don't know what is.